Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is jam-packed with disaster cleaning motivation. Our house was a wreck. We've all been sick for the past two weeks. Oliver and Will had a really bad stomach bug. Luckily, I didn't catch that, but we got another sickness that was more like a flu-like thing and it had us all down for a few days so we are very glad to finally be feeling better but on top of that I'm 12 weeks pregnant and I'm really nauseous and so it makes it really hard to keep up with the house anyways especially with dishes and stuff so I've just kind of let things go and I had somebody comment on my last video and say your house looks like that again and yes it's been like this for the past few weeks it's just been really hard to maintain and Will does help me but with sickness going on and everything, we've just fallen behind. So today's the day we're going to get all caught up. And I'm hoping after today we can kind of maintain it. And that way I can get back into our spring cleaning projects, our organization projects, and go outside and power wash and get some spring decorating done. That'll be really fun. It's starting to feel really good here in Arkansas. But anyways, if you have something to tackle today, grab your coffee and tackle it along with me. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but let's jump right in. I wanted to start out by washing our sheets and our mattress cover because of all the sickness. And so I got that started first. I actually lost some of the footage that I started out with. I was showing y'all how much of a disaster our room was and I accidentally deleted a couple clips. But anyways, we got that started in the washer and then I moved into the closet. We had so many clothes that I needed to hang up. Lots and lots of laundry going on in today's video. In fact, over on Instagram, I was telling y'all I did like four or five loads of laundry on this day from washing them, drying them, folding them, putting them away. This was a Sunday and we took the day off from church because we were so behind and we were kind of still getting over sickness. So it felt really good to get all caught up, get all of the laundry folded and put away and just get everything reset. Pretty soon I'm going to be getting in this closet and doing some decluttering. We're going to donate a bunch of stuff. Will and I are both in different sizes than we were last year. So we need to do some decluttering in there. And then while we were sick, Oliver got his little Valentine's basket because it was Valentine's Day somewhere in there. And the little paper shreds went all over our carpet. So I need to vacuum that up, get everything wiped down, everything sanitized. And it felt so good at this. Well, I will say at the end of this day, I was so sore. My lower back hurt so bad. And it felt so good to put my feet up and just know that everything was reset for the week. And we were ready to go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday went so smooth. And we've been able to maintain so far. So... So far, so good. We had little Oliver's bed butted up against ours because one night he was throwing up like once or twice every hour. It was traumatizing and I knew he wouldn't be able to make it in the little bucket by himself. So every hour or more than once an hour, I would have to get up with him and make sure he did okay with that. It was so sad and I'm so glad that's over. But that's why his bed is in here. Y'all have to let me know down in the comments below how you and your families are holding up through this winter. I feel like this has just been a really rough winter for everyone. We're going to put the bed back together here in a few when the sheets get done, but now I'm going to quickly throw myself together for the day, and I had to share this new little device that I've been using called the UFO 3 by Ferreo Sweden. This is the newest product to the UFO collection. It is a deep facial hydration device that gives you the benefits of five spa facials. It increases skin moisture levels by 126% in just two minutes. As a result, it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles in just seven days. It's definitely become an essential part of my morning and night routines. It offers a thermotherapy feature where the device has a gentle heat that helps the skin absorb the benefits. It also has a cooling therapy, refining LED therapy, and T-Sonic massage therapy. It leaves your skin feeling refreshed with a visibly healthy glow. Truly a staple in my routine lately. The Ferreo app is so easy to use too. Everything is laid out so nicely where the click of a button gets everything started for you. I love how streamlined it 
it is. I've really been wanting to get a good skincare routine started to prevent wrinkles since this year I will be turning 30. So I'm very excited to be incorporating this into my daily routine. Not only is it one of the most relaxing parts of my day, but I genuinely see a difference in my skin and I just cannot wait to see it keeping my skin young over time. Purchase via my link in the description box to get 30% off on UFO3 and use the coupon code LAUREN10 for an additional 10% for the first 50 people. So run fast. Thank you so much to Foreo for sponsoring today's video. That mattress cover is always such a pain to put back on. I had to have Will come in here and help me finish the end of that. But we got that taken care of and now we're putting the clean sheets back on the bed and getting everything reset. Pretty soon we'll be coming in here and taking down Valentine's Day decor and getting everything ready for spring. And I'm excited to decorate for spring this year. I think I'm gonna go with a more simplified version of what I normally do because I wanna work on some home projects in the house. I wanna get the living room completely finished. I wanna figure out the entryway and I wanna do some board and batten in the living room. And I would love to get that tackled this spring. I wanna get lots of the harder home projects out of the way before I get super pregnant. So I'm really hoping to get that done this spring and some summer um, but as far as spring decor goes we are going to be pulling out the Easter bunnies and the Easter eggs and all of the spring decor very soon and I'm super excited Set me up like lemonade we both know it's bittersweet the sourness will bite your tongue no one is forever young Okay, our master bedroom is all reset and now we're headed into the master bathroom which was just as much of a disaster. Our laundry was overflowing. I did so many loads of laundry on this day. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the countertop, get it all wiped down and sanitized to get it redecorated or you know just put everything back and then we'll start in on tackling the toilet the tub the laundry all the rest of this we just had so much to do on this day i started out really overwhelmed and then about this time in the day i started to feel really motivated because after you get a few things done like this it just feels so good so grab your coffee if you haven't gotten started with something on your to-do list yet grab your coffee get started you will thank yourself later Since we are now coming into the month of March, what do y'all have planned for spring break this year? Are you doing anything fun with your family? Are you going to the beach? Are you doing a little staycation? I really want to plan something for my family. We don't really ever go on vacation unless it's like the middle of summer and we go to the beach. And I want to prioritize doing more fun things, even if it just means doing something here in our little town. Um, just getting out and doing some things out in the sunshine because I feel like we're kind of cooped up in this house a lot and that's easy to do when you're a parent and you're kind of like in the thick of it but it's so important to get outside and enjoy the sunshine especially on those beautiful days and with spring coming I want to do some camping I want to go to the zoo and I would love to do a little staycation for Will and I's anniversary we had to skip that last year because of sickness and I really want to make that a priority this year so Hopefully we can make all of that happen, especially with a new little baby coming. I want to get all of the traveling out of my system because I will be stuck home for a little bit after that. But it feels so good to get that counter all reset and now we're moving on.
Okay, I have a random question for y'all. How many hampers do you have in your house? Especially if you're a family about the size of ours, we just have one kid. Or if you have one or two or even three kids, how many hampers do you have in your house? Because we have this one in our bathroom and then we have two in our laundry room that I like to sort towels in one and clothes in the other. And that is it. Oliver does not have a hamper. I always just take his clothes and put them in the laundry room. So we only have three hampers and I feel like our hampers are always overflowing and it makes me feel like I have so much laundry when really we probably just need more hampers. I just don't know where to put them. So let me know down below how do y'all keep that rotation going and how many hampers do you have. I think I'm going to get some little plastic rectangle ones that I can stack. That way if we're not using them, I can stack them and put them on top of the dryer. But that way if we have an extra amount of laundry on a certain day like this where we had like four or five loads in one day, I have a place to put them and they're not just like all over the couch or all over a bed causing more stress and anxiety. But let me know down below how many hampers do you have and how do you keep up with laundry in your house with kids? We got the toilet all cleaned up. I've been using those Clorox wipes that smell like grapefruit and they are amazing. They smell so good and it doesn't leave your bathroom smelling like chemicals. It just smells really fresh and clean and it disinfects, which is awesome. Now we're moving on to the jetted tub. This is a mess from when Oliver and I took a bubble bath in here together the night he threw up on me. I was telling y'all about that in the last video. We were a hot mess, but anyways, he had all his toys out in here, and we've also bathed them in here several times since, and he uses this little finger paint that he got for Valentine's Day, and it makes a big mess. So I'm going to get in here and scrub everything down, get it all reset. I'm fighting all my life, I'm bad and I know it. If I could just be a little better, maybe you could be my salvation any birds? Y'all are so cute. What are you doing? Are you being a puppy dog? I absolutely love that bath pillow. Will got me that for Christmas, and I will link it down below just in case you need one too, but it is so comfortable. I love taking bubble baths. It's one of my favorite things to do at the end of the day to wind down, especially if I've been cleaning all day or doing something super physical where my back hurts. I love to take a bubble bath. I was kind of scared too in my early part of pregnancy because I know you have to be careful about water temperatures and all of that, but I made sure it wasn't too hot and it was just very relaxing. Love that pillow. Got our bath all reset and now we are headed into our shower. I just quickly kind of straightened things up, wiped down any like random stray hairs that were hanging around or anything random, just gross. So we wiped all that down 
and I'm just going to use some spray weight on the door and we're going to call it a day with the shower. I need to get a new shower curtain for this little area because I like to keep a shower curtain over the glass door so that it looks a little nicer. But got the bathroom all reset and we're going to come back in here and vacuum and mop. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some cobwebs in this closet, so I just took the foot off of the vacuum, and I'm going to take care of those. We're going to slide the hamper back in here, and I mopped up this bathroom with some pine saw. I did go ahead and get some more pine saw for a while. I could not handle the smell of that, and a lot of y'all commented that I was pregnant before y'all even knew because of that. Pine saw really got to me for some reason, but we're back with the pine saw. I'm just using the original pine saw, and it smelled so good in here. Got everything reset. It felt so good to have our bedroom and our bathroom room clean because at the end of the day this is where we come to unwind and relax and there's nothing worse than coming in here and it being just a complete disaster. And speaking of disasters, our kitchen was a level 10 disaster. It was so bad. We had stuff out from dinner the night before, probably dinner the night before that. We were struggling to keep up, y'all. We were all sick, and we just could not get it together. But I'm going to go ahead and start out by getting everything off of the counters that wasn't dishes and trying to wipe down this little L area. I love clearing off this little L countertop. It makes me feel like the whole kitchen is clean. I don't know what it is, but when it's not all cluttered, it feels so good. So I like to start with that and then we'll head closer and closer to the sink and then tackle that big load of dishes. And believe it or not, I fit almost all of those dishes in our dishwasher. Y'all know by now, if you've been following me for a while, I do not leave anything out of that dishwasher. I will pile it all in. I do not care. Um, and then I just had to wash our pots and pans by hand and I think like one or two mixing bowls. But this was quite a task. <laughs> this took me probably an hour to get our kitchen cleaned up. It had just gotten so out of hand. So if you have a disaster like this in your house, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you came here for some motivation, definitely go ahead and get up right now and clean along with me. Oliver had been playing Play-Doh and he was painting. He did all kinds of crafts on this table this day, so it was filthy. Had to get it all wiped down. And of course, we always have to wipe down the wall beside it too because it gets so bad. But I have a lot of people ask me on Instagram and even in the YouTube comments, how do you get so much stuff done with a baby? And a lot of times, Oliver just likes to help me clean. So if I'm sweeping, I'll tell him to go get his little broom out of his room and he'll help me. Or I'll give him a task that he can do while I'm doing something. And he loves to help me clean. In fact, I think he likes to do that better than he does play with his toys. He just enjoys kind of doing whatever I'm doing. And so that's usually how I do it. But a lot of times if he doesn't want to do what I'm doing, then I'll give him Play-Doh or paint. And I'll kind of try to keep him in one area and have him make a mess in only one area rather than a bunch of different rooms. That way when I'm done with my task, I can kind of go clean up what he did and then we'll move on to the next thing. But honestly, he is the easiest kid. He just kind of does what I do. And then also a lot of times if I get really overwhelmed, my mom lives right down the road. So that helps a lot too. But he's a pretty like go with the flow kind of kid. Are y'all getting anxiety just looking at these dishes? Because I am. <laughs> I'm so sorry I made that SpaghettiO bowl front and center. I did not mean to do that. But I had eaten SpaghettiO for lunch either that day or the day before. And 
was letting it soak, so that looks really disgusting. But we are gonna get all of these dishes taken care of, and like I said before, I pride myself on filling that dishwasher to the brim, and we have a great dishwasher because I never have any problems with things getting clean. They always come out squeaky clean, and I noticed the other day my husband said, this dishwasher soap is so good, and it's the, I don't know what the brand is right off the top of my head, I'll try to link it below, but it's the one with the blue liquid in a pod with the little red dot, and Will said that works better than any of the other ones. I haven't really noticed. I feel like it always does a good job, but he really likes those pods. So we got that taken care of, and now we're just gonna wash a few of the bigger things. Whenever I have a full day of cleaning like this where I have like the entire house to tackle, I always like to turn on some music on the Alexa. So it's usually Avril Lavigne, Colby Calais, lately it's been Lainey Wilson, and I will just blare their music and get so much stuff done. And Oliver likes to dance to it, so it's a win-win. <laughs> but this day it was Lainey Wilson. We had her blaring at the top of her lungs, and we were getting so much stuff done. I got all of those pots and pans washed up, dried, put away. By the way, if you have not jumped on the Caraway cookware train yet, you have got to try them. They are amazing. We have their bakeware, their cookware, and we love them. They're nonstick. All of the good things. I'll have a link down below with a discount for y'all. But now that we got that done, I'm headed over here to the sink. My manager actually sent me these beautiful flowers to congratulate us on our baby. And they are the prettiest flowers I think I've ever received in my life. All pink and purple and just gorgeous. And they've lived for quite a long time. I was impressed. And I'm not very good at keeping plants alive, as we all know. But I was just trimming those up and getting those all nice and reset. And now we're just going to kind of finish up here in the kitchen. Outside of this box Who cares about your posts I know they're only fake Show us what you own And how much money that you make <laughs> Yeah, I know that you're trying to fix me But I don't want to be like you Keep your stupid job Pretend that you're the person you wanted to be <laughs> And you're dying at the work But work until you die And you're dying at the work But work until you die you're dying at the work But work until you die You're die, 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 die And sigh Say no Our peony Mrs. Myers dish soap finally ran out, so I went ahead and ran to Dollar General and I picked up this Gain dish detergent, and it smells so good. I think it's just like the clean or fresh scent. It's one of the basic ones, but it smells like a beach vacation. It smells so good. We went ahead and got the sink all cleaned out. I'm gonna throw my scrub daddy sponge in the dishwasher to get that all sanitized, and then we're gonna move on to the other side of the kitchen.
these tile floors stay so dirty. I feel like it's the color of them, but also the texture. They're so slick. Um, and we have a little dog running around, and it's just so hard to keep them clean. I sweep probably once a day or once every other day, and we always still pick up this much dirt and dust and gross stuff. So glad we got that taken care of. We're about to head over to the other side of the kitchen now. Got our paper towels refilled, and we're going to pick up this nook area. I went ahead and opened up the blinds, let some sunshine in. This is our little catch-all area, as we all know by now. It catches everything and I am dying to replace this table. I think I actually found one that I love. Um, so we're probably going to be doing that very soon. We've got to find it in the budget because <laughs> we ordered one from Wayfair. It didn't work out. So we sent it back. And in the process of that, I decided to go ahead and finish Oliver's room makeover. And we've just been jumping back and forth from project to project. But I've got to make this table a priority. I was making it a priority so that Oliver could sit here at the dinner table with us. And now we've got another baby on the way. So we have to upgrade our table now. We need more seating. And I told Will, it's kind of funny because he sits here for dinner. And then Oliver and I usually sit at the little blue table. Because I don't want Oliver to have to sit alone. Um, and I told Will, if you want your family to sit with you, you have to buy us a new table. So that's his motivation to get on it and get us a new kitchen table. I'm just kidding. But anyways, we've got to get that updated. I'm going to go around, pick all the junk up off the floor. And we're going to sweep over here and then we'll mop. see me mopping the wall this is because this is the area where Oliver got sick and so that wall and then also underneath our bar area had some splatters and Will did a really good job cleaning everything up but he just missed the wall area so I'm just taking my O Cedar spin mop and knocking off those areas I really love this mop because it fits in all of the tight spaces it's funny because it's like a triangle you wouldn't think it would but it fits in all of the little spaces and it also has that head that goes up or down if you want to do the wall or the floor or whatever and then you can just throw the head in the washer and wash it and you can use it a million times over and then of course if it gets really gross you can just replace the head but now that the kitchen is done we are about to head into the living room We're So this disaster, part of it is I was in the middle of like two or three different loads of laundry and matching socks. And then the Christmas decor that we brought in from the last video got left there because that's when Oliver got sick. So I had to just leave it there and we had to move all of that up to the attic. So I got that out to the garage and then Will took care of getting it up to the attic. And for the rest of the living room, I'm just going around picking up toys, dirty clothes, putting away shoes. And then once we get it all straightened up, we're going to fluff the pillows and vacuum in here. And it felt so good to get everything reset in here. I, s I heard somebody the other day say, while you're cleaning your house, start from the front door and go from there. Because that way, if somebody were to stop by, at least your front room would be clean. And I need to start living by that rule because... For some reason, the living room is the last place I care about. I feel like if it's a mess, who cares? Because it's kind of where we just hang out and make a mess. But I think I'm going to start living by that. Because if you come in the front door and the living room is clean, that could relieve a lot of stress. And I was also just telling Will the other day, we need to replace our front door and get some windows. So that we have some natural light coming through there. I know a lot of y'all have recommended that. Um, because I've been trying to spruce up our entryway and I think a new door would make a big difference. So if we get a door with windows, we definitely have to start keeping this room 
clean. So that's going to be my new goal. This will be the first room I clean whenever our house gets in this state. But now that we've got all of our laundry put away and all of this clutter picked up, we're going to start vacuuming. You give me this energy. energy. It is like you set me free. Yeah. Chasing heights to stay alive. But if I'm with you, I'll survive. entryway is kind of a catch-all too. It catches all of our bags and our shoes and whatever we have in our hands when we come through the front door. So we got that all cleaned up. Eventually I would love to do some built-ins on this wall, I think. That's kind of what I have in my head right now for this area. I would love to do like a built-in little mantle for our TV and then have it kind of move into a little bench for the front entryway, just a small one like a little nook with a little pillow there. I can't really describe it. I'll have to just show y'all one day, but I love the idea of that. I think I have shown it on my channel before what I wanna do there. Um, it's gonna be a very big investment and I really don't know that it's gonna add value to our house and this is not our forever home, hopefully. <laughs> so I really don't know, you know, as far as like timeline when we'll be able to get that done. But that's my dream for that wall. We may do something between now and Christmas that's different, that'll kind of spice it up until we can do that. Um, but that's my goal for that wall. Now we just recently did these photo frames on this wall to the left with the frame lights and I love that, but I think I'm actually gonna move those frames to the wall behind our couch. And then on the wall where the frames are right now, do some board and batten with a small like thin table and a mirror because the wall behind our couch is a little bit larger and I just feel like it'll look a little bit better, but we'll see. That'll be in a video coming very soon because I'm ready to make this living room look good. We've always kind of been in a transition of one wall's empty, one wall's decorated, that sort of thing. So I'm ready to get that done. Um, Will was outside throwing some steaks on the grill so I wouldn't have to cook and I was so thankful for that. I'm so excited because Will grilled some steaks tonight. I believe that's a ribeye. And then we've got baked potatoes and corn and I don't have to cook. So super excited to enjoy this and I'm so glad to be done cleaning. Mm -hmm. 